And we begin another incredible week of learning Mesil Sisharim together. And we begin the 15th chapter. Wow. Of Mesil Sisharim. And this is the third chapter on Prishas, as each and every rung on the ladder of Virchus ben Yair is broken up into three chapters. This chapter is, as always, the Derech Kinias. After we got the general, after we got the specific, now we get the Derech, the way to be Kaina Precious. So begins the Mesil Sisharim on page 298 in the art school of Mesil Sisharim. Hinei ha Derech ha-Mavchar Liknos is Precious who? The best way to acquire Precious. Person has to think on how low he is and how the different pleasurable activities of the world pull one down. They themselves, pleasures, tainugim, automatically pull one down. And the terrible evils that could come from them so easily. Kihine explains the Ramchal. Ma shemata tevel tanugos eila. The one's nature pulls him towards the worldly pleasures. Achi isar kol kach koyach v'tachulus avrisha meham to the point you have to utilize all your energies, all your strength to pull yourself away from those pleasures. Hu pitoy einayim. This is the pitoy, the seduction of the eyes. That one's eye sees something nice, sees something delightful, sees something pleasurable, and automatically he starts being pulled to it. Haniftim b'mare by externals, the mare that which something seems the eye is pulled towards. Advarim eshu toy v'ariv l'chayra every pleasure that seems good and pleasing. Who apitoy that is the seduction, and he's using extreme words because it's nothing less than seduction. Shegaram l'chayit arish and sheyahase. That caused the confidential sin, the sin of Adam and Chava. What did it come from? The pitoy of the Enayim, the eye sees something, they get big and glowing, and they start going as a magnet towards them. Kedaz Aksav, as the Pasuk in Bereshis teaches us, the woman saw that the tree was good to eat. And it was a taiva. It was a delight. It was a pleasure to her eyes. And then she took it. And she ate. Avol, however, when one sees the good, the taif, to do what? To, when one sees the taif, and he realizes that the appearance that the pitoy, that the seduction of that which his eye sees is what? Is kaizev ligamri. It's purely and utterly fictitious and sheker and nothing. It's an illusion. And there's nothing real there. Whereas the ra, the inherent ra, bad, which is in each and every one of these pleasures, that's real. Or even if it's not actually Ra, it's very close to Ra. Once you're in that pleasure, it's very close to suck you in. Vadai, with such a knowledge, who will certainly he'll come to despise it. And the more he thinks about it, he'll come to try to stop himself from being pulled and sucked into all the desires. This is the entire practice. This is kol alimod that a person needs to do in his mind, in his seichol. To recognize that these pleasures of the world are what? The chul shazatanugim. They're chulsha, they're weak, these pleasures. Vishikram, and they're false. And until what point, how much we have to realize this? Shemei love yimas. But the more we think about it, the more we realize that the pleasures are not real, they're fake, they're an illusion, then one will come to despise him. Layik shabein of the shalcham itai. And then it won't be so difficult. His eyes will pull him and he'll quickly be able to pull away. He continues, We all know. Eating is wonderful. It's tangible. It tastes good. It feels good. Is there anything more short-lived? V'nifsad. It perishes in a moment than the pleasure of eating. How much could one eat? Only that much you could get in your mouth. 
And once it goes out through your throat, that's it, you're done. It goes into your stomach, digestive system, and it's finished. And it's lost. It's as if it's never there. And therefore, therefore, what remains? That you feel full. That you're satiated. But for that, the satiation is the same whether one has a delicacy. Like barburim avus and fat and geese. The satiation is the same if he has dry bread. If he eats enough to satisfy his hunger. Kol shekein, certainly im yasim alibai, if he puts in his heart, he thinks about hachaloyim aram shechol navo yolom machos achilasoy, all the terrible illnesses that come through eating, ule pachois hakoivit shemargeo achar achila, or if he realizes how he feels heavy, he feels disgusting after he eats so much. Va'anashanim havahilim asichloy, and the fumes, he's drowsy, that his mind doesn't work so well when he has such a big fat meal. Hine al kolela vadi shal yach was adam bedavar hazeh. The more that we think about it, the more that he can't contemplates it, he'll slowly be able to take control of his mouth and stop eating. Because you'll see the good, what's so good? The and the bad, it's quite bad. It's so not productive. And similarly, and with this we conclude, all the pleasures of the world are the same. If you think about them, you're going to see. Even that which seems good, even the good that is there that you enjoy. How long is that good? A few moments. But the bad that comes, that comes from it. It's hard and it's there for a long time. And until the more we think about it, the more we realize why put ourselves into such a precarious and terrible bad place. For the little bit of benefit that we're going to get, it's not worth it. He says, The more we think about it, hopefully, the more we'll come to this recognition of how it should be to us to slowly stay away from all the tainugim of this world.